simple mistake, a slight oversight, the variations were wildly exaggerated, and the extent of the fraud was staggering. Donald Trump's first criminal trial is scheduled to begin in New York City with jury selection on Monday, March 25th. Joining us now is Joyce Mann from the U.S. Attorney and Professor of the University of Alabama School of Law. She is co-host of the podcast Sisters of Law and an MSNBC legal analyst. Uh, and Joyce, uh, we're now in the public discussion of collecting from Donald Trump that massive judgment or what he has to do in order to uh, uh, proceed with an appeal, uh, which is essentially pay the judgment in advance? That's right. Donald Trump will have to get a bond that will secure the entire amount of this judgment against him. And Letitia James, no one should mistake her soft-spoken, careful choice of words for anything other than firm steel that is inside of her. She went after this case when people told her it couldn't be done. When she says she intends to collect this judgment no matter what legal process she has to, to put in place, I, I think we can believe that she has a plan, she will execute that plan, and if Trump is forced to uh, sell some of his assets or dissolve some of his assets to satisfy the judgment against him, then she will go to court to ensure that happens. So the sequence we're going to see, though, but let's just assume for a moment that Donald Trump is able to come up with the money that, that allows him to proceed with the appeal. We won't see uh, what happens on the collection end of it until that appeal's over, but because he's already basically put the money in the court's jurisdiction, when he loses that appeal, if he loses that appeal, it's pretty much automatic, isn't it, for that money to be uh, handed over? Well, it is, and the bond, the appeal bond that he has to get, I mean, obviously he could pay the full amount into the court's um, fund, but I think we won't see that happen here. We saw it with the $5 million judgment in the first Eugene Carroll trial, but he has to post a bond that acts as security for his promise to pay, and if he does not pay, one of the things that the Attorney General can do is go ahead and collect from whoever it is that issued the bond and then it's up to them to go back 